right, happy Labor Day. I'm trying to get back on my diet today, but this corn and everything is making me on the hungrier side. It's a, one of the grillier holidays of the year, Labor Day, July 4th, Father's Day included, but today is one of those days. Here's what we got. So this evening, yeah, 88 degrees on the hot side, 85 by 10 p.m. Then Tuesday morning, a lot of you are going back to work and school, obviously, then hey, uh, partly cloudy skies with temperature right around 82 degrees. All right, here's what we got. Slight rain chances. Well, those slight are real because we're having some uh, light areas of showers here in the crossroads. Unreasonable heat. We're going to elaborate on that. Dry off. We dry off even though we're not getting washed out. Then hot later on. We'll talk about that right now. Here's what we got. So 99. <laughs> We've been held under 100 for now unless we see a recalibration. Could still eclipse one, or, or attain 100. Held under 100. Our average is 93. We're still above average, but 110 back in the year 2000, but we know the real feel is the big deal around here, and we did go over 100, and we'll talk about that in a moment. All right, so what's going on now? We got storms pulling away with moisture, the sun destabilizing us because high pressure is not close enough yet to kind of protect us, that protective dome. Then the sea breeze moving inland with this moisture, and along that sea breeze, yeah, we're seeing some pop-up showers. Again, very similar to yesterday, most of that activity taking place off to the north and the northeast, so I want to say, mostly on the dry side here in the crossroads. 90% of the area is seeing very little, if any, rain. Different story when you head off to the northeast. Now, as our heat indices have gone up, they, they require usually about two hours of maintaining a certain temperature. We didn't hit that because all the heat warnings and advisories had stayed to the southeast, southwest excuse me, of the viewing area. But I'll tell you what, these are going to start moving our way in the coming days because with moisture getting trapped and high pressure making its way back, we're going to start to see those heat indices pushing maybe in that 115 degree range once again. So not too bad right now on the coast in the 80s. Get away from the water. Yeah, some mid 60s, but I want to say overall on the stuffy side here in the crossroads. Here's our future real feel. Now we hit 111 just a little bit ago for the heat indices here in Victoria. So again, those have been on the rise, even though temperatures slightly came down a bit. But we're looking at eventually maybe, maybe 115. It's not illustrating here, but we're going to start to see these soar in the next couple days as high pressure battles back and moisture gets trapped in the area. Here's what we got for our future look here. So oh, 113 for Wednesday. Okay, that's getting to be where we saw most of summer very much on the hot side. So I talked about it. Sea breeze moving inland, creating some showers, but as that sea breeze continues to move inland, that will cool us down just a little bit. But what's going to happen? These storms move off. The moisture does move in the low level moisture and as high pressure then starts pushing down, trapping this moisture. Temperatures will come up as well as those heat indices with that moisture in the area. Very similar to what we experienced most of the summer. This high is just going to hang out in West Texas for days and days and days. Here's our future tracker. Here's what we got. Yeah, nothing in the way of a washout with these showers. Just a few passerby widely scattered or just isolated scattered showers, if you will. Just, ne just not in too many places here and not lasting very long at all. So yes, headed to drier times, even though we didn't really have wet times, but on the hotter side. 93 for our water. Seas will be about two to three feet. That'll keep our base on the choppy side. All right, what's going on? We're seeing a weakening now in Girt and Katia, both, uh, now both post-tropical depressions, really not going to cause a threat to just about anyone or anything. We do have an area of a disturbance starting to develop, a wave, but it's going to probably head, you see my finger going this way, going this way. Um, the good news is it's only about a 20% chance of strengthening. The bad news is, or no, the good news and good news, it's not coming anywhere near us, not headed that direction. But we have some more waves developing out here in Africa, and this one here is the one we're going to keep an eye on at the moment. 60% chance of further development, probably going to be a tropical storm in a few days as it heads towards the Caribbean. So yes, we'll watch that disturbance very closely. 79 degrees overnight, and then for tomorrow, for Tuesday, back to work, 97 and sunny, a little breezy, but look at that. He didn't see 110 degrees. Now, I said it. We don't get washed out. We got a few rain days potentially, but then we really start to heat up again. We'll be back in the hundreds. He didn't see again flirting with 105 to maybe even at 115 degree range.